Pulmonary embolism occurs when a blood clot travels to the lungs and causes respiratory distresses, damage to the lungs, paralysis and even death according to the size of the clot. In women, the link between deep vein thrombosis, which can cause the potentially fatal condition of pulmonary thrombosis, which also can cause the potentially fatal condition of pulmonary embolism. Pulmonary embolism is a silent killer, also in men, often with little prior warning. Nearly 300,000 people are killed every year by blood cloth, which lodge in your lungs. There is no greater cause of sudden death than pulmonary embolism. First, a clot called deep vein thrombosis, DVI, forms often in the calf. The DVI travels from the veins to the right side of the heart, which pumps the clot into the lungs. If undetected on time, for it to be treated, it blocks blood flow to the lungs and can ultimately cause cardiac arrest. In total, over 900,000 people are stricken with pulmonary embolism every year. Therefore, one must know the warning signs that should alert one to seek immediate evaluation. These signs vary and may include shortness of breath. This typically appears suddenly and always gets worse with exertion. Number two, chest pain. Not only heart attack, but when you draw deep breath, cough or bend at the waist, it does not go away. Number three, cough, especially bloody spatum. Number four, leg pain or swelling. This is usually in the cough area. Number five, clammy or discolored skin. Number six, irregular heartbeat. And seven, anxiety, lightheadedness or dizziness. If you have got two or more or most of the symptoms, it is time to get evaluated immediately. Untreated 30% of acute pulmonary embolism causes results in death, so you go and get evaluated at a good hospital where several tests can be carried out to determine what the problems are. Typically, a chest x-ray is taken to rule out other disorders which may make pulmonary embolism diagnosis. The exam is quick, images are taken and are seen as dark against the whole background. When the doctor diagnoses you with pulmonary embolism, you are likely to be treated with a variety of anticoagulant therapies. However, damage done to the lungs and heels take time to heal. Swelling to the legs is often worse after DVI, so you may have to wear compression stockings to keep it at bay. Pulmonary embolism are complex medical management issues for physicians. A CT pulmonary angiogram is considered the gold standard for a pulmonary embolism diagnosis. A small amount of contrast medium which contains iodine is injected into a vein in the hand or the arm. On a parting note, contraceptives in women have been found as being capable of causing blood clots that may lead to an embolism. So please women, make sure you seek your physician's advice if you do decide to take contraceptives. Do not buy over the counter. Please take care of your life. Go for checkup. Go for proper medical checks. If you suspect your health may be threatened, stay alive, people. Stay alive.